It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Ravens and the Eagles, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Baltimore Ravens and the Philadelphia Eagles. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And a glance here at the man calling the plays at her center, their 6'4 quarterback. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now the first carry for Ty Montgomery. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And down inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. So here are the Ravens with great field position to start out. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. And so often when you've stolen a possession, as they just did there. On the first up, play. First play, picking up the fumble. The natural inclination is to attack, go after them big. Sometimes what you just want to do is put the ball in the hands of one of your best players and one of their favorite plays and establish your dominance that way. Opening minute and already a trip to the red zone. First and 10 at the 19. Gets around him. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. All right, Brent, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They got the ball in great field position after the fumble, but this defense tried to stand tall. They certainly are, and a lot of times after you pick up a fumble or get an interception, you have momentum on your side. You kind of walk through a defense and score. Not so fast, not in this case. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Well, they'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Second and goal from inside the five. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now Mahomes. Escape. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Patrick Mahomes taking it in from four yards out. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Let's go, baby. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's got to clear his mind a little bit right now. One carry, and that carry was a lost fumble. Clear his mind, clear his hands, and, this, and just let this one go. Sometimes it happens. You drop the ball, get a full game ahead of him, hand it to him again, see if they can start to produce. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. 57 to Mike. 57 to Mike. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Shifts past him at the 45. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. McCoy's got the first down and more. And finally taken down at the 30-yard line. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, what they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle, or if you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage, you got a chance to rumble. Now Aikman on first down. And complete to Zach Ertz. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. And this is caught at the 8. And brought Let's down the now before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Well, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. Now Aikman. This is caught. Touchdown, Eagles! A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Extra point right down the middle. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. now as they kick it away. 
No run back here for Jones. A touchback. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. down it's rice and he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line yeah, now after the running baby. play we've got a man down on the field we'll check on his status when we get back Good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now a handoff here to his running back. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And a penalty flagged down as he gets only about a yard. And let's listen in on the call. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you. And as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first down coming up. Taps this forward, it's a jet sweep. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. You got it. It's you a got loss it. of eight there on the first down play. Second down, it's Rice, stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. On third and long, it's Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? 
I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. On first and ten, it's Aikman. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And just a yard to go here on second down. They go play action with Aikman. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And this is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. He's been doing this for a lot of years, and the arm strength is still there, and he showed it off on that one. And I'm telling you, nothing will ever count more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes are on the receiver streaking down the field, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Yeah, and that throw, my goodness, and even 70 yards through the air. Now the try here for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Mahomes now on first down. He finds Bolden and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Another reception made over the middle. This is Bolden. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. On first down, it's Rice, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Now that was an excellent run, and when you see how that happened, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to 7. A reminder coming up at halftime. Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two minute drill before the coaches' two minute drill. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. So they'll get nothing out of that play. So many screen passes are the result of excellent acting by everyone. But sometimes the guy who's getting the ball tips the play off. <laughs> you know, the running back, because he's, he's eager to get the pass. And sometimes he doesn't act very well about whether he's going to block or leak out or whatever. And I think that they saw that, and that's why they're able to get to him on it. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. Now the Ravens going to use go. one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20 yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he gets it to Boulder. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Here's Mahomes to throw. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand new ball game. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Eagles going to get one final possession in this first half. And we'll see how aggressive they want to be in these final stages before the half. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. Now it's Aikman. That's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And a potential turning point as they get the football in very good field position late in this first half. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Yeah, easy to second guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. So from the 36 now, first and 10. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Eagles have recovered. We know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side. A little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now, because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. offense set to begin their next drive and with decent starting field position there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range he finds his man complete that's Owens and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45 they'll contain him to just four second down when you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. They'll throw now on the final play. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. The 
couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. They go play action. Now Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Let's go, baby. Let's go. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. He was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice gain. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Here's Mahomes now on the option right. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. To throw, it's Mahomes. He finds Bolden. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And Mahomes picking up the first as he slides and hits the deck. And what a weapon to have when you can use your quarterback as a short yardage runner and pick up first downs. They'll run on first down. Rice. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Following the penalty, it's first and five, and you got to think offensively, all kinds of options. And he'll give it here to his running back. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain there on first and five, and it leaves him with a more standard second down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Rice, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. He finds his man complete. That's Rice. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. The first down screen pass, good for five. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. Second and five from the eight. Mahomes going to keep this himself. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? 
Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that, and it wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They'll look for a drive to tie this up down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Aikman. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. They've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Out of the gun, it's Aikman. And he comes back with one complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now Aikman looking to throw. That's caught by Jackson. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. On first down, Montgomery. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two, go! 
to throw is Aikman. This throw incomplete nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. From the gun on third down is Aikman. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. They'll start by running the option to the right. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. That's what the defense presented there. What I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing, and making a very nice play. Second and nine, Mahomes flushed out right, and he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short game when he took off running. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten defeated. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. So first and 10 now from the 30. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he loses the football a second time. But I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was, and Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Hey. 
So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Aikman operating from the gun. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big play that time through the air. 39 yards. But that one up that play call certainly meant that he grabbed a little extra shot of courage on that one because normally on third and short, you're just trying to move the sticks get the ball just past that line of scrimmage. Instead, they take the big shot downfield, and it pays off. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the shotgun, Aikman. Buying time to his left. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Here's Aikman setting to throw it. Caught by Montgomery. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. <laughs> so it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. Ertz over the middle. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And with the scoreboard against them here in the fourth quarter, this was definitely four down territory. Really nice job there finding a way to get open and a really nice throw. That sets them up with first and goal. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Touchdown! A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drive in total, eight players. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Now Jones. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now here come the Ravens. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. 
If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Mahomes connecting with Andrews. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Mahomes. has it what a catch and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 and partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter you and I both know in the NFL that's when you lean on your stars and he came through with a nice catch right there Mahomes. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one handed. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They run the counter. Rice and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Smack down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Rice. And that's a touchdown as they broke in our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown. Late in the game, they look like they're in control, but still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. The drive summary that time, five plays, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. So now the Eagles down by seven, 36 seconds remaining. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10.
He's back to throw. And this one is incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Back to throw. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Now they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving it nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Aikman. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and now the football's going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line. The Ravens taking a knee with victory seemingly in hand here. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And I tell you, this was a fun one, just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal. Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on.